Rejection can often feel like you are not good enough. You often feel like you're not qualified enough for the job. You are not smart enough to get into that school. You're not beautiful enough to attract that beautiful man that you have a crush on, right? And you start to internalize these negative stories about yourself. Start thinking, maybe I need to change myself. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I should do X, Y, and Z. Maybe I should change my mold in order to fit in this other mold. But what if that rejection was actually redirection? What if that beautiful, perfect job, perfect on your resume, yes. But what if you were going to be miserable at that job, right? What if this gorgeous woman that you saw that rejected you and you thought, oh, she, she would be perfect on my arm, but what if you were unhappy in that relationship? So we have to start thinking that maybe being rejected doesn't mean that we are not good enough. Maybe we are just being redirected towards something better, towards something that's for us. Because somebody said no, that means that you are less than. The people who usually tend to have this sort of self-talk are people whose self-confidence are usually dependent on their performance, right? You usually see that at work environments, and it usually starts from childhood from what we've seen in our coaching field, is that people whose self-confidence, whose self-worth are dependent on how much um, they can perform on how much they can do for themselves, for others, how much they can achieve. Once they do not achieve, once they fail, their self-confidence and their self-worth also goes down. But that can quickly lead to exhaustion. And that exhaustion can also lead to depression, right? High achievers are often very, very depressed. And there's a clinical word for this, which is not coming to my mind right now. But we often have to think about these paradoxes, right? These juxtapositions in life where we feel like we will find more joy if we keep doing more, if people keep reacting more positively to us. But what if you could just be yourself? What if just being you, being your authentic self and being accepted in that state was what's better for you, is what God wants for you? Think about that. Meditate on that. For the longest growing up, I used to, you know, think that having straight A's would make me better in the eyes of my parents, which it usually did. Right, And then when you come to the real world, that translates to being a high achiever, being a high performer, and constantly getting up there. But what if while you're up there, you're also working yourself to the bone towards exhaustion to the point where you don't even want to wake up anymore and go to that job? You want to wake up and stay in bed instead. So think about that. Oftentimes, rejection is redirection. It's not necessarily that you're not good enough for this. Maybe that is not good enough for you. Maybe it's not compatible. Maybe something better, more compatible is waiting for you. Where you will thrive, you will find joy, you will find purpose. Let's meditate on that this week. Anyways, I'm Linda Foinding. I'm a leadership and performance coach. Let me know if you like these topics and let me know if you want to join our mastermind group. We read amazing books for self-development, self-discovery, and all that good stuff. All right, bye.